simply learn. Your pace, your place. Financial Risk Manager, FRM. Part 1 of the FRM exam covers the fundamental tools and techniques used in risk management and the theories that underlie their use. Quantifying volatility in VAR models. Welcome to the last session of the Quantitative Analysis module. This session is devoted to estimating the most important risk parameters, volatility. We have learned in the previous sessions about the calculations of VAR and the estimations of volatility and correlations. You must have noticed that we have most often used volatility in our calculations, so it is important to accurately estimate this parameter for calculations of risk using VAR. Some of the concepts like exponential smoothing and GASH have already been discussed in the previous session. Let us now begin our discussion. Agenda the main agenda of our discussion will be estimating the volatility using different approaches. We will begin the session by discussing the real distributions of return in practical scenarios. In reality, the volatilities change with time, resulting in non-normal distribution with fat tails. We will learn how these fat tails underestimate our simple VAR calculations done assuming normal distribution. We will also introduce a regime switching model in which the volatilities exhibit normality during phases or regimes and then change to a new level. Our estimation techniques for volatility estimation would include parametric, non-parametric and hybrid approaches. Under parametric approaches, we will learn about historical standard deviation, exponential smoothing, GASH and risk metrics. We will also learn about the hybrid approach using exponential and market value weights. Finally, we will end the session by learning about implied volatility and the concept of mean reversion. Fat tails. In practice, the distribution of return is not normal. There are deviations from the normal behavior such as fat tails, skewness and instability in the return distributions. From the chart, we see that the curve becomes fatter at the tails if the volatility or the mean return varies with time. This is known as conditional distribution. That is, a distribution that changes with changing conditions. Such curves exhibit fat-tailed distribution with higher than normal probabilities at the lower end of the tails. 